Hi everyone, so this week uh, Chris and I went back to the Silver King mine. It's a really cool mine with two big hoists and we're going to show you how it all worked. And it's just amazing. Went way to the bottom of the mine. This is a really cool mine. It had a huge tram that had 845 tram buckets. And uh, we'll show you how this whole thing is uh, set up this mine here. Have a look at this. Okay, this is the mountain here that they mined. So there's only one at it that we know of that went in this way. And there's two hoists. There's the upper hoist. And it went up there and there's the tramway. And this is the lower hoist going down here. So there's a whole bunch of levels, but they didn't connect to this lower hoist. There's a whole bunch of adits and stuff and ore chutes that all went down to this level. And at this level, they could put the ore onto this hoist. Uh, but I think most of the ore went to the bottom of the mine, which is all flooded, which had must have had a collection point at the bottom. We didn't get to that. So so all the all the ore from this whole mine went to this hoist, to this level, or this level. And then it was hoisted up to this main hall level, put on trains, went to this upper, upper hoist, and hoisted this way and out of the mountain. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Here comes food. That <laughs> oh, looks okay. I don't have to go on the on the board. It's okay. Yeah, get okay. Another intersection. Oh, it goes on. Yeah, we're back to the main hall level. <laughs> That's neat. What a shame that they blocked this mine off, eh? This well, is just... straight down. Yeah, we're yeah. Yeah, don't go down there. <laughs> this is us. It's just like a treasure. This this mine is just awesome. I think I'm gonna see how much they want for this piece of property. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much land there is. But fuck, it'd be awesome if I could have uh, have access to to this mine. Oh, look at all these fancy ladders. Make yeah, movies in here. Uh, is there current CSA stickers on these ladders? <laughs> I didn't see any, but the rats might eat them. Oh, the whole bunch of levels up there. Oh, beautiful square set here. I don't think I've ever seen a square set this complete. See, where's my nice light? It's all still standing, eh? Yeah. That's the way they done it in the old days. Stood up there and chiseled away, eh? They kept building it as they went up. You know, like this is all solid rock, right? So they started at the bottom, built the staging, went up with ladders, went up 12 feet, built another section, and kept going up, 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 up. See how they built it? It's all interlocking pieces. That looks a little skinny getting through that next uh, doorway over there, hey? Skinny is my middle name. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can get any further. Unless it makes a real hard, sharp right. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's collapsed. Like I say, you don't always have to go to every part of every mine. But then I try to. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like there's a hole going straight down there. That goes way up though, huh? Yeah, Pretty neat. Good. I'll show those ladders are for. You seen those ladders back oh, there? Look at that. We got a whole other tunnel up here, right? Up on right I'm uh, going to stand out of the way here of the falling rock. Well, Frank does his best to climb up into this little hole with a ladder missing three rungs. Yeah, they're only missing off the top. Just the top. No. Oh. Okay. Hey, huh? You could pass me now, the camera, then I could try to grab from here. Nope. She's blocked off. Is the room, was it collapsed? Uh, there's a, yeah, well, there's an ore pass or something that's completely blocked it off so it doesn't go past her. Where does it go? Right there. 
Yeah, See, here. if you were so damn nosy, I wouldn't have to go up here. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a guy could almost <laughs> jump from here to that ladder, but not quite, eh? Well, almost, but all right, Spider -Man. I guess almost doesn't count, huh? Nope. Looks like it's pretty caved in here. There's a big air door here. Yeah, air <laughs> so we got levels above us and below us that we could possibly explore. Not know yet. Hmm. Oh wow! Holy Christ, there's a big shaft here going straight up. Really cool. Mm. Yeah, look at look how far up you can see. Holy Jesus! Wow! That's a hoist level. Straight up. And water's dripping down it. Oh, this is no way we're gonna. Well, there's not even ladders anymore, but. Huh. That's a ways up to that next level. Well, we definitely gotta get up. Not here, but. <laughs> That's a really cool shaft. Well, for sure, waste rock would have been hauled out there. We know there's levels above us and below us, substantial levels. So, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point. I mean, it could be that all the ore came to here, it was hoisted up there to a big tram, and the tram took off from there. Possible. They spent okay. lots of money. Well, there's a compressor. Look at this compressor line. Look at the top down. So, somewhere there's... I mean, it would have been cool to climb up there, but... Yeah. been a while since that's been safe. There's the top oh, It's there, wood, right? isn't it? Yeah, all wood short. It's all wood, and there's a manway where the ladders are, right beside it. Yeah. Manway's there, and the hoist level's there. So, there was a... Probably or I would think there's a good chance this main hall level and they hoisted all the ore straight up to a tram tower somewhere and then onto the tram from there. That's what I'm thinking. We'll go with that and see if I was wrong. Alright, so we've climbed all the way to the end of this big stope. And that's as far as they mined and going up. Doesn't go any further. See, go look it up there. Doesn't go any further going up that way. And I thought, it looked like there was a ledge going along here. So I was hoping I could get up here somewhere. That's pretty steep for Chris. I was hoping we would go along this ledge here. Let's try. Pretty steep right in here. There may be a ledge below us so we can go along. But we can't go along this one. And we hope we can get that way. This is as far as they mined on this side here. So some old rotten ladders and shit here. But I can't get across there. I don't think. We'll try going on that lower, go across that lower ledge. How could I do that? I think I can skinny across there and go along that ledge there. Yeah, we'll try that. But this is as high as we're gonna get in here. So, huh. tough climbing up here though. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's always difficult going from the top up because you're having to climb up pretty steep stuff. But uh, I'm a pretty good goat, so. Pretty neat little ledge. The little ledge they had for walking along here, little path, and it goes to the end. And uh, we can shine a light up there, but we were up at the end. It doesn't go any further. So this is as far as they mind going this way. And we're just going to have lunch here, so I've got them all rigged up here. And uh, we don't want to trust any of these stalls by themselves. So we got, this one's pretty solid, I thought. But I'm also hooked up to this the, this one here. And I rigged it up to the top. A little trail along here. And there's a big spike there in there, so that's going to be pretty secure. So then we have a line going across to the other side. So we've got like a closed line going across as it continues on. Let's go that way and we'll show you what's up there. It's pretty cool. I bet lots of miners sat here and had lunch. There's a little spot here. Eh? Looks like a little spot for that. I can see miners sitting in there and having lunch right here. Okay, so we're just heading down this ledge here. And uh, we'll go up the clothesline in a minute here. But for now, what we want to do is 
where that big real cool square set is there is an old trail on there we're gonna check that out in a minute and see how far we can get going that way it looks like it goes a long ways that's where that's where we've walked before down there we can't get any go any further up here we're out of mine here so it's not connected to anything here that's the end of the stopes here huh so there was a this little tunnel just goes a few feet and it ends unfortunately um can show you this, this landing here uh, there was a, a an area going up to a higher level here it would be nice to get up but there's no way to get up it we might be able to get up there it doesn't go straight up you know that we can get up here I don't know how far though. It's tricky. Eh? I don't know how steep it is. It goes up and there's another ladder and it's not really that steep. Some rungs are broken. Maybe it's not too far up there. And this ladder's not too bad. Can I use that ladder? Huh, I don't know. Probably not. No, it's an almost, but not quite. <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's just the ladder was rotten at the bottom. It's just too steep to make it up. I pulled the ladder away, you know, but then it's, I just can't get around the... I can't get around that one spot, so no, we can't get anywhere. We're done here. You might as well start going down, and then I'll undo the rope, and I'll just go down without a rope. So we used up all our options uh, going up, so now we're going to start going down. So, Okay. Now, where am I going here, Frank? Well, I just come across this ledge this way, but what you can do if you want is, is hook up your climbing rig and just keep going down, and it'll hook up in behind you. Do we know where that goes? Not yet. Oh. It doesn't look like it's that steep, but it goes down. It's not, it's a little steeper than she's been so far, but not, you know, crazy or anything. A little bit of loose stuff, but. All right, so we found another level here. This is really cool coming down here. So this is the train tracks here. So another level here and we came down here. So it was a little steep there. So Chris is just going to make his way down. There's more square set here. So Chris is going to make his way down. And what we're, what thing we we're trying is this other rig. And this is called an, an ID. Yeah, don't buy one of these, they really suck. Yeah. The reason they really suck is because uh, if you cam it over too far, it stops right away, so you got to get it just right. And it's just about useless. I'd never buy one of these. It's a useless piece of junk. Cuts will rig way better. You, you put it like that, that's open, closed, that's it. This one is a sweet spot in between. you got to juggle through there and try to get it figured out, and it just doesn't work with the shit. So get the Petzl rig way better than this. That wasn't too bad getting down there, huh? just that little oh, bit of a... Getting up that little bit might be uh, difficult. Well, I can deflect you over with a tail, but um, we'll see. What's that? I can deflect you over with a tail a little bit. And I'll redirect you. There's a level. Hey, we're on another level, so... It looks like there's a level down there, and it goes down quite a ways yet, so... Oh, lots of cool stuff. We're hoping this will keep going for a long ways. It's getting warmer here. It's fairly underground. Oh, it blocks. There's a, a Y here already. Oh, like Christ, that stope goes freaking down. <laughs> Pretty cool. The stope goes way down here. It's steep, too. When the tunnel goes that way, we ain't getting across there. I don't think. Who knows? Maybe with the rope. We're going to go down here first and have a look at this. You don't want to walk across that? Not right now, maybe with a rope. But a real black looking material in here. And the funny thing with this camera, when you're shooting something with the camera, it absorbs the light of its block. Sometimes it doesn't matter how much light you got, it's, it looks really dark. So why would they pull the track out of here? Use it somewhere else. Oh? Well, sometimes they sell it. The scrap. I would usually just say, uh, use it for a different part of the mine because they go into one area and mine that out and then abandon that part. 
you know, I think for selling it for scrap would be pretty hard because it goes a lot different. This mine closed a long time ago. Uh, the smelter closed down in 1907, so there wasn't much mining after that. It's a really old mine. But, um, you know, the one thing is during the Second World War, they were getting scrap from all kinds of mines everywhere they get scrap. Oh, a CXL box. Oh, I might take that piece. I need that for my wall. Perfect. I'll take a piece of that. I'll take and put that in my house. I've got a whole bunch of different ones. So there's a collection of my <laughs> explosive signs I have in my wall. Just some of the different ones that I got that we got off these different mines. A little, something a little different to grab here and there that you don't see too often. Okay. Well, you know, I'm sure you'll be able to help me out if I fall in. Fair enough. All right, we're about to witness Frank's decision-making skills. <laughs> it's not my decision-making skills at all. I'm interested in my swimming skills. <laughs> I think we'll get to see both. <laughs> Let's see how tough this pipe is. Yeah, you can, I can pull it up on this maybe. Oh, all right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back to my camera. Wonder how much further this can go. Maybe I'll just go for a quick walk. I'll sure. Go. I'll turn this off and I'll wait here. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I never fell in one time, so I shouldn't fall in going back, eh? Oh. Does this look sketchy to you, people? I don't know. I think some people are just too squeamish. <laughs> <laughs> Shimmying across old pipes. Oh, well, that's not even deep. I can see the bottom, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm guessing it's over your boots. <laughs> all right, so this there was a false floor along here. See how it's all rotted. And where we are on the other side, there's another false floor up there. If you just look at it, you don't want to be walking on that damn thing. Look at it up there. How rotten that is up there. So here, uh, Frank's going to uh, swing out on the end of this rope. And they, do a lot. they call it scaling. A little bit of scaling here. This, uh, we moved a lot of this stuff down already. It all slid down, but it's still too much to go down here. So. Never let fear and common sense get in the road of a good time, eh? Oh, never. Well, I had that one beer, so I'm feeling way better about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's good. I don't see anything loose there at all. Nothing that I can't catch. <laughs> Rolls on a rope, eh? Yeah. Should have looked at it. I'll steer well clear of the hole here so I don't knock anything down on you. Oh, there's a whole bunch of, there's that other level right there. And it's not even steep here. Oh, you can just hop right down here. We are yeah, at the bottom end of the rope there, so we're going to continue on down here and see if it's worth going down here. A false floor there. And we're going to go into that level. Let's see where it goes. He's going to tie a rope onto there and give that to me. Going to extend it down there so I'll be able to come down there and then I can go across this false floor safely. If it falls, it'll be attached to something. Yeah, so I'll wait till he gets the rope tied on for me and sends it down. All kinds of cool places in here. Oh, it just keeps going down too. Further down, not that steep. Well, not looking bad at all. Huh? Okay, let's see if this ore pass is like at the top.
Where are you? You're right there. I, you can, can you see my light? I, you're, I'm just a few feet below you. So it goes from there. It drops off. It's pretty steep there. But from where I am here, it's not steep going down at all. Where you are, there's a, it goes straight down for about 15 feet. And there's a ledge. And then you'd have to go about another 15 feet down to where my beer can is. But from here where I am, it's just a gentle slope down. But it doesn't go anywhere, right? I don't know. I'm going to walk down. I'll see. Well, all the ore went down here somewhere. Fuck, it's pretty cool in here. Huge stalls in here. That crack goes up a long ways. The only bad thing is if something comes down from the top. You know, it's not steep here anywhere. It just keeps going down and down at an angle. Oh, there's planks going across. And I think there's a lot of stuff to check out down here. It doesn't look that steep going down. No, follow the rope down. Yeah, it's not very far down. Just stick along that wall. You won't have a problem. I th it's worth coming down. There's a lot of stuff down here, a whole bunch of levels. And so I just kind of keep um, keep going along this. Uh, keeps going down and down and down. I don't see any signs of anything happening here. They're not that tough to get around here, but they built some walls in here. They might possibly get in close to the main hall level if they want to keep the rock off of the main hall level. That's what we're really looking for. Oh. This is cool. Yep, this is the main hall level. What are we looking at here? What is that? <laughs> down she goes and down she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. <laughs> oh, there's an old wheelbarrow. Oh, cool, eh? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's an old timer. Be a lot of work to get that out of here. That doesn't go any further. And there's a level going this way. Pretty easy getting down these levels. Let's see how much further we can get going this way. And more stuff. I don't know what was in those boxes. Cans, some type. One box. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go back and get uh, Chris. And then we can continue on down here, south that steep, and see how much further we can get her. Or unless I should walk down there. Maybe I should. Probably gonna make his way. Up here, anyways. So let's go down. So we better check it out, maybe. There might be water there. Looks kind of black. Oh, ooh, there's water. Yeah, there is water. It's flooding down there. Huh. Oh, that's the bottom of the mine. Huh. Well, we're gonna need scuba. We're gonna need our swift water jackets if we're gonna go any further down. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. No, I don't think we're getting any further past here. Yeah, it's all flooded. So there's no point in Chris coming down any further because we're out of mine. Cool up. That's the bottom of it. That's one of the older mines I've been in. Older big mines. This is what mine started the whole city of Nelson. We built the smelter in the late 1800s and then the town afterwards. The smelter only ran for a very short time. In 1907, there was enough water left to keep the smelter going and it shut down. And that's the bottom of the Silver King mine. We made it to the bottom. Alright, we're going to continue on this side of the Silver King. 
Another little tunnel going this way. Oh, look at all the boot tracks. Oh, they might be another out of here. Another way out, probably. Oh, that would be cool. Boot tracks go over here. Oh, he's got to come down here. We're going to get out somewhere else. Huh. Look at all the boot tracks in here. Another way out. Guaranteed. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him down here. Not the way we came. I think so. Yep. Now you're always saying how you like these dry mines, but she's getting dark and wet in here now. This is more like a mine. <laughs> oh, look at the colors in here. What do you say? Blue, and there's an old box of some type. <laughs> you know, this is a, a little dynamite box here. We think we're going to get out here because there's a bunch of fresh boot tracks in here, and there seemed to be good, good wind on the other branch. So we're thinking we'll probably maybe find another entrance way down the bottom. We'll see if we're right or not. I think so, huh? Because I don't think very many people came down the way we came. Even though it wasn't that tough, but... Well, the attic been, was plugged off for a long time. And not many people would have climbed through that small hole. Most people are too smart. Yeah, nobody with a half of a brain would have climbed that metric or rabbit hole. Or something. It says, it's caution, special. dynamite, nitroglycerin, don't touch. Yeah. There's no, it's not embossed or anything. No? They got lots of bottles like that from my museum. You can have if you want. Mm -hmm. Looks like a medicine bottle. Ah! Look at all riveted, eh? Entirely riveted. Yeah, that's an old ore cart. Yeah. It says 20 pounds frictionite. Got a Canadian maple leaf on it. Here. Trying to figure out what this is. I was wondering if it was a plane. Do you think it is? No, they wouldn't plane stuff down here, but yeah, weird, eh? Well, I mean, they got to build their all their timbers. Look at this. What's this little piece of newspaper stuck on here? Huh? Try to move it here. Other like dual. I can't see a date anywhere. No. Western Front Titans British Wall prepared for on offensive. Oh, that's for the First World War, maybe. That'd be from the First World War. That's an old piece of newspaper. Oh, this is an old mine. How's that look? Can we get up there? Yeah, that looks a little touch sketchy there. Hey, look at this. Bottom rung of the ladder is just right onto an old rotten stall. <laughs> Even when that's brand new, I couldn't see that being very comforting. <laughs> Might be the bottom of that old ore cart we saw. That's an ore cart. Oh, we're at the hoist. Goes down. Probably all false floors, yeah. I don't think a guy should venture out onto the. Oh, and there's another real core oak cart. Oh, look at there's a blasting cap. And some dynamite. Bunch of skinny little sticks, though. Skinny little sticks of dynamite. Blasting cap. I just got a wall in this section right here. Oh, well, let's have a look right up here. Right down the middle here, there's a wall. Yeah. So you can walk on. Well, it goes up. There's a man way there. Pretty skinny. Do you think it's safe to walk in the... <laughs> Those are big planks. There's that wall right here. Oh, let's look at this. There's, there's, it's not hollow in here. Pretty wet. Yeah, pretty wet. It's great. I was going to stick my camera up there and have a look up, but... Yeah, that's a little bit of building, that's 2x4 for a lot of them. Yeah. Not good enough. That's pretty steep. Look at all the wooden stuff. Sure them up there. The bottles are a bit up there. Little pry bar. Little pry bar. Looks like a big, almost like a platform up there, right? Look at all that wood. A little hard to see. Not shoring up something, eh? Hmm. Not shoring up that section of the, yeah. the roof. Hmm. 80 feet to the water. Oh, yeah. 
No less what I found too, eh? Yeah, same level, it's all flooded in the bottom section. Yeah.